When I, when, when I was in America last, I read a, a survey, an analysis, actually, a meta-analysis of many surveys done over a 15-year period about American beliefs. And um, turns out... <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah fuck, him. yeah, fuck the man. Yeah. <laughs> this, this survey of American beliefs um, showed that Americans, at a rate of, of, of between 48 and, and 51%, um, don't believe in evolution, um, which is like half. And on top of that 50-odd percent, a further 38 to 40 percent of Americans believe that biological evolution has occurred, but believe that it was initiated by and has since been kind of administered by um, God. God. <laughs> Leaving a very small percentage of Americans who are right. It's not my theory. Uh, but uh, I, I've done material about evolution before, and, and in Australia and in, in Britain, it, it barely raises an eyebrow. It's just worth a chuckle. But in America, it's quite contentious to do comedy about evolution, you know. It gets a gasp. It's, 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 it's the equivalent of doing material about fisting anywhere else, you know. It's, <laughs> it's quite confronting for them. I, I've been heckled by a man in the front row in New York, loudly defending his, his disbelief in evolution. I've been pulled aside in foyers by people defending their disbelief in evolution in the same term interestingly enough. It's the same, same defense that the intelligent design movement uses in the high courts of American states to try and sneak at pseudoscience into American high schools. And <laughs> that defense is always, but evolution is only a theory. Which, which is true. I mean, it is a theory, and it's good that they say that. I think it gives you hope, doesn't it? That, 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 that maybe they feel the same way about the theory of gravity. And they might just float the fuck away. <laughs> However, I think, I, think, uh, I, think, I think when you lose religion from a society, especially religious ritual, you, you can easily throw the, throw the baby out with the uh, ecclesiastical bathwater. Uh, in, in that, there's some things I think I, I regret that we've lost. And, and one of those things is the opportunity for groups of people to come together and share a sense of common purpose, of common belief in, in song, in, in music. You know, I think it's a wonderful feeling, that feeling of oneness that you get from, from sharing beliefs in, in music. So I've been doing a bit of an experiment on, on this tour to see if I can't generate a similar feeling in these secular buildings. Um, so I was wondering if you'd be up, up for a sing. Jesus, 
Best shared in churches. <laughs> <laughs> 